When you think of red heels, you don't think of an auto mechanic, but that's exactly what Patrice Banks is. I'm an engineer, I'm also a mechanic, and I'm an entrepreneur. I own Girls Auto Clinic. I was an engineer, which is, you know, a non-traditional role for women. And so I did a lot of outreach with young women becoming engineers. I have passion for helping women um, get into non-traditional roles and give them the support and, and resources that they need that they don't normally have because there's not women in this role. Now I help women learn about their cars so they don't feel like they're being taken advantage of. It's important to tell women like what they need to know because you will go into a mechanic and they'll tell you you need this, this and that and it's not really true and they'll end up having you spend money on something that you may not really need. And though Banks doesn't recommend working on cars and heels, she explains that the look is all a part of her brand. So anytime I do Girls Auto Clinic stuff where I'm representing Girls Auto Clinic, my workshops, I wear my red heels. Banks holds free workshops for Girls Auto Clinic where she educates females on how to provide proper maintenance for their car and tips on how to save a few dollars as well. I'm trying to get you to understand the difference between something that needs to be replaced and what it looks like when it doesn't. So you know if a mechanic comes to you and shows you your filter and says you need to have this replaced, it's going to be 40 bucks, you know, you, you know what it looks like when it's supposed to be replaced. I have women come bring their own car. They park it up and we lift the hoods up and I'll just start talking about and everything underneath it. What you can touch, what you should touch, what you should know about what's underneath this car. Auto mechanic Rashid Wright says women do not always service their cars when they need to. When it comes up to women drivers and the way that women look at their cars, I can say it like this, majority of the women, they look at it, but you got some females out there that don't look at it, which hopefully that one day they'll pay attention. Women said they felt more confident about understanding the ins and outs of their car after completing the workshop. I think she, you know, completely said it in things that were, you know, understandable, that she, you know, I don't want to use the term dumbed it down, but she put it in a way that's relatable. So it's not kind of talking above our heads um, for people who don't do this every day. Um, it's talking in a way, breaking it down into terms that we can completely understand and identify with. So I think she did a great job with that. What's next for Banks? Now it's opening my own shop. That's my next goal. Spring 2015, let's hope I get this and it'll be open. Banks hopes that by opening the shop, she will encourage more women to infiltrate this male-dominated industry. Women, we can't, we're very, very capable, you know, and this whole thing, like, we can't get our hands dirty, I don't know where that came from because we get down and dirty, we can do it, you know, and I love it when I see women doing that. Reporting from Overbrook, I'm Jamila Huxtable for Philadelphia Neighborhoods.